What's up guys? I just got this uh, Arashi Racing Rear Sets, okay, for the Ninja 400. Uh, I just wanted to see what it's all about. Um, I like the Woodcraft. I have Vortex. I've used Vortex, no problems with them. They got really, really good knurled uh, pegs, but um, let's take a look. Let's open this thing up. We just got it today. All right, so here we go. Comes with some directions. A little envelope, something in it. Comes with some nice packaging here. Pop this open here. All right, and then we have here a rear set for one side. So let's kind of open that up. All right, so here we go. That looks pretty fancy. Yeah, that's pretty shiny. All right. Little shifter. That's the left side. Okay. I guess that R means trademark, not right, because that's the left side. So here's the shift rod, which is way too long. Maybe it'll work. I doubt it. Alright, here's the other side. Here's the uh, shift linkage to the transmission. Cool. Hopefully it works, GP. So I'm riding it. Uh, the pegs. We're we'll waiting to see what these things look like. I really like the vortex pegs and the. Well, that's pretty good. It's knurled. Majority. Why is it not? Why is it not knurled to the end? Well, it's kind of strange. A little different of a bolt up there than the ones I'm used to. It seems pretty. Doesn't have. It doesn't have a, a real great grab to it. I'll be honest with you. Like I'm not really feeling like super grab it's not gripping my hand so this looks like it would still be kind of slippery um but like i said i just bought these to try them out all right not too bad that's one there's two and what else we got here's the little toe levers oh cool one's for brake one's for shift the red's kind of cool Break spring. Uh, and got some bolts here. Let's check out the bolts. We got Show the bolts. Then we have the brake side. Excuse me, I want to put the phone down for a second. Honestly, it smelled like Chinese food when they opened it, like a Chinese food restaurant. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, there's the brake side. Pretty heavy duty. I mean, I, honestly, uh, I was not going to get these. Um, but I did read someone that uh, used them for the track. Okay. I spent a lot of money on my... Uh, Six or six hundred, which I got it to where I love to ride it. It's the way I like it with the parts I like, like it, uh, and it rides really nice. It's comfortable, it's fast, and if it falls, I got great crash protection. Now I heard a guy with a four hundred, and he posted he did crash with these things, and it was a pretty bad low side, and it slightly bent like in this area here actually it was the left side this this one this piece right here bent okay um, it bent out and he was amazed that based on the fall they didn't snap off like to me i would have thought they would snap off so based on this one person um i got them if i did not read that i would not have got them there were other brands and i didn't even consider looking at them I looked at them for a second, I'm like, oh, cool. But no, these, you can give them a shot, put them on, see what they look like. Eh, I might sell them if I don't like them, I don't care. Just wanted to get them and try them out, okay? So I'm gonna put them on and I'll let you know how, uh, how long it takes. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be about an hour because I gotta take the old sets off, put these on. Now the OEM, 
Okay, rear sets, you fall, this thing folds and everything on the side of your bike is trash. Now this here, adjusting it on, I'm assuming I'm taking that little O-ring off. This goes on here, which is a post, okay? It's gonna keep the bike off the ground more than the stock ones. Oh, look at that, they are fully adjustable. That's good. I can go down a little bit and up, so it's like in the middle, cool. All right, um, and it comes with a little label here, what's it say? No return of tag is removed. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'll install the right side first because it's not on that side. So wait, hold on a second. Is it supposed to be on both of them? Uh-oh. So if they tell me it's supposed to be on that one, on the brake side, and it's not, I'll have to call them right now and let them know about that. Uh, all right, so that's a flaw. Maybe it's just a, the shifter side because honestly you can't ride the bike without uh, the shifter side. Well, I could figure out a way, but I don't think you really necessarily can. Oh, that's wiggly. We're going to have to do definitely throw some Loctite up on this bad boy on all the bolts. Um, I normally don't have to on my Vortex ones. They really tighten up real, real, real tight. But these pieces, questionable. Oh, maybe this actually is not long. It's pretty far back. All right, but I'm going to put it together and... Uh, I'll let you guys know in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching. Later. Oh, by the way, uh, have a great day.